deserts are large, dry, and arid areas of land with sparse vegetation. Arid regions receive scanty or no rainfall. The animal and plant life here is adapted to the harsh and difficult weather conditions. People living in deserts too have to adapt to their living conditions accordingly. Location of Deserts Deserts occupy about one-third of the Earth's land surface area. We find a desert in every continent. There are basically two types of deserts. Hot deserts, which lie near the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, and cold deserts, which lie in the temperate zones or near the polar regions. Deserts across the globe Sahara Desert, North Africa Kalahari Desert, South Africa Thar Desert, South Asia and Sonoran Desert, North America are hot or tropical deserts. The Gobi Desert in Mongolia, Leh in Ladakh and the Patagonian Desert in South America are some examples of cold deserts. Saudi Arabia, the land of golden sands. Let us study Saudi Arabia, a desert country, one of the richest Arab countries in the world today. Saudi Arabia is a large country situated in the Arabian desert with the Red Sea to its west and the Persian Gulf to its east. It occupies almost three-fourths of the Arabian Peninsula. Riyadh is the capital of Saudi Arabia. Land Saudi Arabia is more of a high rocky plateau covered by desert and semi-desert areas. There are hills and mountains on the western coast while the east is relatively lowland. Hence, the land slopes from west to east. There are no lakes or rivers in Saudi Arabia. The country gets its supply of water from the scanty rainfall it receives and from groundwater which forms fertile areas called oases. Oases provide habitat for people and animals. They are also a stopover point where supplies of food and water can be replenished when travelling across large distances in the deserts. al Esa is Saudi Arabia's largest oasis. A lot of settlements and markets are found here. There are wide gullies or wadis, ravines, which fill up during occasional rain. Climate Deserts heat up rapidly during the day and cool down very fast in the night. Saudi Arabia, being a desert country, has an extreme climate. It is hot and dry with low humidity. The country receives poor rainfall and it is mostly bright and hot throughout the year. Summers are extremely hot with temperatures soaring above 50 degrees Celsius in some parts. The nights are even colder during winters. The coastal areas are comparatively pleasant but a little humid due to their proximity to the sea. 
Vegetation and Wildlife Flora and Fauna Saudi Arabia, being a desert country, does not have much vegetation. Cacti and other short shrub stems retain water to withstand the hot and dry condition. However, with the help of artificial irrigation, agriculture is being practiced in more and more areas. Desalinated water, sea water from which salt content is artificially removed, is mainly used for agriculture. The main crops grown in Saudi Arabia include dates, wheat, alfalfa, barley, sorghum, rice, and millets. Melons and tomatoes are also grown here. The camel, known as the ship of the desert, is used to carry people and goods across large distances in the desert. We also find other animals like wolves, jackals, gazelles and rabbits in Saudi Arabia. Birds like grouse, hawks, cranes and sand bustards are found here. Arabian horses are known for their large body structure and speed. Scorpions and some reptiles like lizards and sand vipers are found here. Life of people in the desert Bedouins Nomads traditionally moved from one place to another in search of fresh pastures for their cattle. Many people in Saudi Arabia still follow this lifestyle and are called Bedouins. Their main occupation is rearing cattle, though they also buy and sell different goods in local markets. They lead a simple life, living in tents made from animal hide. With changing times, many Bedouin families are settling down in one place. They now use cars and jeeps instead of horses and camels to move around. Despite this, the society is still quite conservative and follows traditional customs and norms. Women wear the traditional dress, a bear, and mostly stay at home, taking care of the family. The women folk in the country do not drive cars or pursue an active career. Men and boys wear the traditional thob, white-colored, loose-fitting robes. They also wrap a cloth called kutra round their head. The huge deposits of petroleum, also called liquid gold, have made Saudi Arabia a very rich country. Crude oil, petroleum and petroleum products are largely exported worldwide. Riyadh and Jeddah are modern cities where people enjoy world-class amenities and have a very high standard of living, unlike most desert regions. A lot of money earned by way of petroleum and crude oil exports is channelized towards developing the country's infrastructure 
as well as many large industries like petroleum refining, iron and steel, cement, fertilizers, etc. Cities of Saudi Arabia Riyadh Riyadh, the capital city, has world-class hospitals, hotels, wide roads and schools. It has more than 1600 kilometers of inhabited land area. Jeddah Jeddah is the country's second largest city and has its main seaport in the Red Sea. Pilgrims going to Mecca and Medina arrive here by sea or by air. Mecca This city is considered very sacred since it is the birthplace of Prophet Muhammad. Every year, countless people from these cities to pay their respects to the holy shrine. Taif Taif, known mostly for its pomegranates, honey and grapes, it is also well known for its beautiful gardens and ancient sites. Saudi Arabia is an excellent example of how a barren desert country can flourish into a prosperous and powerful one.